Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one, we're going to do part two of the Shader Forge uh, tutorials. So in the last one, I showed you how to set it up and get a basic shader working just with an object having some texture and that object is here, just in a normal object with a normal map. So if we had the light in a certain area, you could see the actual bumps and cracks in the light. Obviously on a sphere, it's not like the best, but um, if you watch the video, you'll have seen that there is like a test scene they give you. Um, with some things and one is like a glass refraction shader like this and um, If any of you are here from my old shader graph tutorials, um, I got asked quite a bit to do like um, Refraction like refracted glass so that you can have a bump map basically a, a normal map on an object like this quad here and you can um, Make like custom refraction on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that this video It's not gonna be that long. It's gonna be the same that it is uh, on here like the same kind of style for this um, so hopefully you can follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the shader. So all you need is a quad. So you know just right click, create quad, uh, 3D object quad, and just put it wherever you want it. So that's where I want it. Uh, you'll notice it is actually one sided by default, but we'll make the shader render it two sided. So we'll create a new. Well, actually we'll just do it up here. Um, so shader forge, new shader. We'll start off with unlit, and um, we'll just go for. Uh, tutorial 02 and here we are as normal like last time so let's just apply I think it is applied okay so let's dock it on the bottom oh that's not what I wanted well kinda huh that's not how I expected it to be oh well I'll just have it undocked that makes life easier so um, what do we need in this shader? Well, well, let me just make sure the recording's working. Uh, yeah, it's working. So, uh, okay, so basically, this shader needs to have a normal map, and we need to have that be the way of diffracting, um, or sorry, refracting the pixels, so that the object we see, the objects we see through it, aren't clear, like crystal clear. We want them to be, you know, kind of distorted. So, as you see on here, we have the nodes, and one is the refraction node. Now, obviously. As with anything in here, if you don't know what it does, the good documentation, you just right click on the thing. What does this do? And it takes you to the uh, website. What does color do? Um, and as you see, you know, this is the color node, tells you all about it. So, um, we're not going to be using, there's not that many nodes for this, to be honest. There's not uh, too many nodes. So, what we need to do for this is we need to get the UV coordinates and plug that into a texture. And the texture is going to be our bump map. So, let's just get rid of this color. So as you remember from last time, we have a texture 2D and that just means we can import a texture in here. It's green because it means it's a property that we can change in the inspector. So we'll just call this um, like just um, like bump. I'll just call it normal map, why not? Uh, it makes sense. So normal map. Okay. And we'll select for uh, the preview just to use this concrete floor thing. Now see this is the normal, uh, sorry, well this is the default like albedo and then this is the um, normal actually no oops I just clicked on the wrong thing um, that's for a different one but there's a concrete one now as you see it's very blue and then a bit of different um, like purpley stuff and that's basically telling it where um, the light hits it and how to hit it um, so if we just plug that in to the normal map uh, let me just go to the lighting um, PVL just leave all that okay um, that's all right. Let me just make sure all these are right. We want to make this double sided, not back face culling, so that we can actually see it from both sides. Um, and as far as I'm aware, that's all right now. Alpha blended. Make sure that's alpha blended. Okay. Um, that should be done. Now, on here, if we go to our. Well, the base color, first of all, um, we don't really want a color as such because it's going to be clear. Um, you can actually just, oh, let's go to the material, let's put in the texture. Um, is that one? Yes, yeah, that one. Okay, so obviously it's not rendering anything at the moment for the color, but it's fine. We don't need to write this second. So we've got this in the normal, and I guess, um, you know what, we'll do a color. Um, let me just try and get to it. <laughs> a 
Oh, we've got an error. Uh, using PBL requires my type spec to be connected. Ah, okay, that's where it's going wrong, actually. What we'll do is we'll just get a value. Um, we'll just plug those in. So we we'll might as well make these values uh, able to be edited in the inspector. So we'll have a value for these, uh, for the metallic, and for the gloss. Whoops. There we go. So let's give that a second. Let's move these up. So we'll just call these their names. So um, base and metallic and gloss and then the normals here so compile yeah whatever there we go now as you can already tell it is kind of semi-transparent we can actually see the object through there if you look very hard um now we can actually tweak these values so like that we don't want one but we don't want zero i guess that's kind of like an actual uh that's enough shine for a piece of glass. Um, I'm just testing the values. We just need to make it transparent and we'll get on with that. Um, so what we need to do now is we will also add another value. We'll just keep it inside here though. Um, I'm getting annoyed by this selection. Okay, there we go. Um, so I want to plug that into the transmission and light wrapping, and that can just be a value of one. Let's give it a second. Now, as you see, if we go back to look at it now, is it compiled? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's hard to tell. Um, We'll just continue on. Uh, obviously, there's no point keep checking anyway. Um, oh, sorry. Now I need to set the opacity. That's why I'm not done. So um, we'll make that a public value for the opacity. So obviously, we're making glass here. So opacity, plug that into there. Um, we'll just set that to like a low number, not zero because we can't see it. So like compile. And we'll go set the opacity to point. Point three. Okay, so now we've already almost got there. Well, not really. Um, there's still a bit we have to change because currently it looks a bit messy like this. You know, it's not actually distorting. But basically, we've got a normal map on it, right? So this this thing is bumpy here. Yeah? It's bumpy. You can see the light kind of bump, like the light bumps on it. The problem is it doesn't distort the thing behind it, which isn't realistic. Obviously, yeah, if you don't need it distorting it, then that's good enough. But you want to have distortion. So uh, I keep saying distortion, refraction. It's Refraction distorts it, basically. So what we need to do is we need to access the UV coordinates. So UV coordinates, boom. Um, wait, was it that one? Yeah, it was. Um, so what we can do is we can plug the UV into the map here. Okay, and now we can use that. So what we want is we want to use this thing which is very useful for this, which is called a comp mask. Now, if we search that, I'll explain what it does. So you take in a value and it has RGB, right? So red, green, blue. So let's just plug that into there. Um, and you can see it here. Now, basically, this is very blue right now because that's just how the um, null maps are. But the blue is what we want the bump and the light to go off. You know, we want RGB going into there because we want that to determine how light hits it. But we want to now make it so um, we don't want this blue. We literally just want, we want the R and the G. We want the red and the green from here, as you can see like that. And that's how we want to do the distortion. So what we can do is, I mean, we could just plug that straight into the refraction, but it'd be a fixed value and it'd be completely wrong, most likely. We'll see how it looks, but I can almost assure it's not what we want. Uh, we should also just move these nodes. There you go. So if we go look at that now, you see, that's a problem. That's that, that's it, It's working, okay, but it's extremely intense, like extremely, extremely intense. Um, it is definitely refracting the stuff behind it, but no, we don't want that. Um, so what we want to tone it down. So first of all, we want to be able to alter it ourselves. So we'll add a slider, which is always nice. So I'll just call it uh, ten, wait, oh, intensity, um, and that can go between zero and one. Um, 
And to be honest, that value is going to be really large anyway. So let's just make sure we can tone it down. So uh, we'll just have a local value in here if it actually lets me. Oh, it doesn't let you do it when you go over another node. That's why. Um, so we'll just put that down to a low value. And now uh, we want to multiply this value with the mask we've got. So multiply again and we can pass in the output of this with our tweaked value. And this can be the actual refraction value, which will tone it down a lot. And it also allow us to uh, tweak it ourselves. So if we go down here and go to the material, uh, let me just, okay. So as you can see, now we're back to where we were, where it doesn't distort through it. It just distorts the light on it because we're on an intensity of zero. But as you can see, we can actually tweak this value. So it, as you can see, actually distorts the pixels through it. So I can go from non to heavily distorted. Um, and obviously it distorts it along the bump map. Um, now the reason I'll show you why you don't want to just have it outputted from here to here. What it's doing is it's basically, it, it looks, okay. You might actually want this to be honest. I don't think it looks as nice. If you actually look, it just looks very messy and also because you're getting you're getting in all of these bits as well on the distortion, like look, it's kind of cut out along here, which is the problem. Like in reality, it wouldn't cut out. Just that doesn't look realistic. Um, it's actually best if we use this and ignore the blue. It also depends at what distance you're viewing it from, but it looks it looks a lot less messy. It looks nicer. Obviously, tweak the values. You can actually just you know make the range up yourself if you want. But as you see, it distorts things behind it, and you can you can tweak the intensity of that. Uh, I think it looks really cool. Um, obviously, you use your own bump map, so like we can tweak it and just use a different one. So if we find like the leaves, this is a leaf one. So it's like a piece of glass with a leaf pattern on it, as you can see. Um, Obviously, the leaf thing isn't made for this, but it's fine. Um, and we can distort along the normal map from that, which is quite interesting. So, you know, you can go play with this. Um, you can also just tweak it if you want. <laughs> yeah, you can get some pretty ridiculous things. So, you know, it's, it's up to you. You can do some pretty nice effects with this. You can also make some pretty horrible effects with this. Uh, that's up to you, to be honest. I'm just seeing if there's any cool textures we can use that are in this pack. Uh, there's actually a noise thing here. It's going to look horrible if you turn it up. Yeah. But it works. So obviously if you have it down, you can see the bump map on it if you have it on the lowest, but it doesn't distort this. And as you tweak it up, it distorts it even more and more. All the pixels behind it get distorted to it, which is nice up to a certain value and it just, just looks like a mess. Um, so yeah, this wasn't too long of a video. Uh, obviously I'm going to keep making these videos. So if you like it, then obviously leave a like and subscribe. It'd mean a lot. Um, I'll quickly do a rundown over the nodes before we end the video because it's only 13 minutes. So um, basically these are just values we can change in the inspector to tweak these uh, particular values on here. Um, that's up to you to tweak these, obviously gloss metallic and they're, they're just all values that tweak how light hits it and the intensity of certain things. I'm not going to go into each specific thing. If you actually want to know then obviously you can say what does value do for example. Um, well, not what does value do, sorry. What does um, yeah, I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, what does, you can go look on the main and it tells you what each of the components do. So obviously what gloss does. Um, it even tells you like a dumbed down version, which is basically what I would end up telling you anyway. So obviously the shinier is gloss. I'm pretty sure any, everyone knows gloss is shininess. Um, and so on. You can just read up on all this on their website. Um, if we go over here, this is the main bit. So obviously we take the normal map that we pass in um, I don't think you actually need this, to be honest. No, because um, obviously I use it by default anyway. Uh, we can tweak the intensity here on the shader, which isn't actually affecting the preview for some reason. It doesn't matter. Or maybe you have to re-click compile. But anyway, it, you see what I mean. The intensity slider tweaks um, how much we multiply this by, so it's obviously intensity when you're multiplying it. This just ignores the blue value from this because otherwise, you know, it's just using the same thing, which you don't want. Um, we'd rather not use the blue because um, the RG is where we want to 
distort refracted across because if we refracted across this all RGB is basically just all refracted. It looked really odd and too it was too strong. Um, obviously, shaders are all about tweaking to get the right look for what you want. So you can obviously tweak this as well. Um, and then obviously opacity. You can actually just tweak the opacity here. I think I made it so. Yeah, you can make it so. Oh yeah, tweaking opacity. Um, you just want to leave it on a low value that's greater than zero. Otherwise, if you go negative, then obviously you start getting really weird bright light. Like in, in gives it um, it for some reason makes the light go really intense, like you got bloom, and then if you make it go um, really high, it goes like black, pitch black, um, except from certain parts of it. I'm not gonna. That's just because of all the lighting settings. So just set it to be above zero, but not too high. So you know, point two works well. But anyway, if you like this video, then obviously leave a like, subscribe. I've already said that. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.